Hello everyone, Dr. Kofi here again and welcome to the Tutor Med channel where everything medicine is simplified. In this video, we want to discuss a mnemonic for remembering the child pew score system. I mean the components of the child pew score system. And so grab your notepads and let's quickly go through this. So the child puke score system is a system used to predict the survival rate among patients diagnosed with liver cirrhosis. And so when a patient is diagnosed with liver cirrhosis, we use the score to predict how long they would live for one year, what is the survival rate for one year, and what is the survival rate for the next two years. And so sometimes in exam, we are asked about the child pew score and then its component. And so it is the components I want to provide a mnemonic for so that we can remember them easily. And so the mnemonic here is HABIA. H A B I A. And so there are five components of the child pew score system. And so H stands for hepatic encephalopathy. Is there hepatic encephalopathy or not? If there is, what grade is it? It has a score. Then A stands for ascites. So is there ascites or not? If there is, what is the grade of the ascites? Is it moderate or it is gross? There is a score or a point for it. Then B for the total bilirubin level. There is a score for that. And then I for INR. Sometimes, some people quote prothrombin time but remember that INR is equal to the patient's prothrombin time over the standard prothrombin time that gives us the INR and let us remind ourselves that INR stands for international normalized ratio and then the last A stands for albumin level what is the albumin level and so all these have points depending on what the patient has and so when the points are added we can classify patients with cirrhosis as having mild cirrhosis or grade A cirrhosis, moderate cirrhosis or grade B cirrhosis, and then severe cirrhosis or grade C cirrhosis. And so the components of child pew score system can be remembered with the acronym HABIA, hepatic encephalopathy, ascites, bilirubin level, INR, and then albumin. Thank you for watching this short episode of TutorMed. Kindly do not forget to like and share this video, very important. And then subscribe to our channel, hit the no notification bell for notifications when we upload new videos. Thank you once again. Bye.